the problems that women face in the corporate world is, um, first of all, for the virtue of the fact that you are a woman, you're already at a disadvantage because when you're applying for job opportunities, they put into account certain factors, whether you're married or single, whether you've already had your children or you're yet to have children, amongst others. So that puts you already at a disadvantage because you may not be picked for the job after they consider all those things. Another problem is the harassment women face in the in their office sexually or otherwise sometimes um, women are disadvantaged because um, you might be the boss and then you have a subordinate who is a man that feels that um, he deserves your position and then when you give him instructions to do certain things he feels like why should I take orders from, from you because even maybe some of my relatives or something could be um, are older than you or even in some cases when the man is older than you oh I can I can give birth to you that kind of thing and then also um, women are at a disadvantage because um, they have to prove themselves more I do not know why but they feel like um, they have to make sure they go the extra mile to let people understand that they are on the same level as the men that they work with forget the fact that they might have gone to university and they might have come out with the first class but it seems like because you're a woman you have to make sure that people understand that you can do even much better than a man who will be put in the same position with maybe lesser qualifications so yes basically there's a this statement that most of the time when we're discussing gender equality we make that what men can do women can also do better what do you make of that statement so i find that statement an error because men and women are two unique individuals okay there are some things that men can do that women can do and vice versa i believe that each of us should tell the parts that we have been called on and be the best that you can in the area that you find yourself in. It is not a competition. You work together to make things work. Harassment in any form at all, how do you think women should overcome it in their corporate environment? So, um, women should speak up. They shouldn't be timid about it. If you feel you are being harassed, report to someone. Report to your HR, report to your boss. If it's your boss that is doing the harassment, report to a higher level. Don't keep quiet. Don't make people mock you because they feel, oh, you're being some way. Sometimes it happens. Oh, don't do that. It's a normal thing in the office and you are joking. No, it is not a joke. Any harassment of any sort is not a joke. Speak up, report, get things fixed. Let your voice be heard. What about if there's no higher level in that environment you find yourself? What do you do? This might be hard, but if possible, change your job. Change your job or report to the police. If all fails, change your job. To all women, you're unique, you're special. Don't let anyone look down on you because of your gender. And don't feel like you have to go over and on top to prove to the world that you are capable. You don't need to. Do you be unique in your own way? Shine bright. You are not the only. You are not the only one who has had children, or has had to quit the job. Don't let things of society define you. Be the best that you can be. Uh, well, I think um, it's part of uh, life, and it's, it's part of humans. And since we are women, women are vulnerable and in most cases, because there are certain things we think we can't do as women, we all want to go into the corporate world to be able to um, get ends meet. But then somehow we, we are being taken advantage of because we are women. But then I, I think in as much as it is wrong, um, there are a lot of ways or there are a couple of ways to go about it as a woman um, to be able to block all those things so that you don't um, get taken advantage of. Can you mention some of these challenges or, or the advantages that uh, let's say men would want to take 
um, of women? Well, um, I think in most cases um, they are sexual. Um, I mean, they ask for sex um, sometimes too. They tend to to bully us. That's when you turn them down, and probably they they realize you qualify for that position. They tend to. Um, bully you when you are working with them. So um, yeah, most in, in most cases, it's, it's it's just sexual utterances. And when it happens like that, what in your opinion think that the women should do? Well, I I don't think women are animals, and I don't think we we are supposed to be treated in that way. So if you're a woman and you're out there and you, you just want to make ends meet, it's not like you're going there and every month they'll pay you for free. You're going to work and then they'll pay you and someone, I mean, asks for that favor. You don't have to give in because you're special. You have to love yourself. You don't have to love someone. And of course, there are a lot of things you can do as a woman for yourself. You don't have to wait for someone to employ you. So if you get into the corporate world and someone wants to, I mean, bully you because they think they have some kind of company that they would um, employ you to work in. You don't. You don't have to accept that. It's it's disrespectful. I mean, to me, and it's 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 not acceptable. So, in your opinion, what do you think women should do if they encounter such challenges? Um, well, I think quickly they should speak against it, and. Um, right and then they should just realize that they are special and I mean this is not for them they don't have to give in to such things never do you think in the corporate world the I mean the women can compete with the men oh well compete um, I think everything is possible um, women are, are, are special um, species we we are very intelligent, we are smart, unless of course you don't want to be intelligent and smart as a woman, as a woman. but I think we, we are capable of doing everything. I mean, not to say that we can go head and head with the men, but then, I mean, we, can, we are capable of doing everything. So yes, I mean, if it's just working with our intelligence and, and our, 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 our strength, yes, we can. What is huh. men can do, women can do better? What do you make of that statement? Well, I, I think that statement is true. But not to get into our heads too much. It, it, it is true. It is true because women can really multitask. So if, I mean, looking at men and women, a woman can breastfeed, a child be washing, cooking, and doing other stuff at the same time and make sure she finishes them exactly the time she wants. So yes, I think we, we can do what men can do and we can do it better. Okay, initially I had my business before I started working and more often than not, when you are running your own business, most people look down on you thinking that you were a failure in school, that's why you are not gainfully employed. And also pressure from society because society wants you to fit into a certain kind of role and for you to have a gainful employment, something that you can rely on when you are no longer strong and active. Like you can have a SNED, you can have a stable source of income, help share around so these are some of the things that propelled me to look for a corporate job okay some of the things the challenges women face are in terms of communication using myself as an example I have subordinates and sometimes you send an email or even you relay a message and they don't take it lightly it's difficult for men at a lower level to take um, orders from a lady who is at a higher level because they tend to feel that um, they are more or less deferring their um, role or authority to you because of their chauvinistic tendencies. And also with the way you appear, your dress, the most people think that when a woman doesn't dress to fit a certain kind of role, she doesn't really appreciate her job. And when she's so particular about her outlook and she's so meticulous with her dressing, the thing that she's trying to impress so hard or she's trying to woo somebody in the organization. And also when it also comes to salaries. For the same job specification or job description, we tend to realize globally that women are paid lower than men, which is not supposed to be so. It also lowers the self-esteem of the woman because she thinks that, well, I have to try so hard 
to, to um, program point to everybody. And also for young professionals like us, when you get to a certain status or a certain position in work, most people think that it's either you slept your way to the top. So these are some of the challenges women can encounter in their working with environment. The, with the last one, the last two points that you made, especially when you hear stories or, or when you hear people making that kind of allegations and statements, how do you feel as a lady or as a woman? Well, I feel so bad because it's not everybody who sleeps his or her way to the top. Um, actually, there's a saying that there's no smoke without fire. So there's a probability that somebody might have done it in the past. But that doesn't mean that you should make a generalized statement and say that all women do it. How would you feel if I say all, women, all men are not serious or all men are lazy? And as such, when a woman is given that same position, a woman will perform better than a man. It's not all men, it's some men. So I think that we should give women the credit when it's due and also appreciate them and encourage them to also move to the top. When you look at most organizations, we tend to look at the ratio to men, ratio to man to woman is very low because men dominate in almost all spheres of the corporate world. Okay, so the issue with um, women also find it difficult to pass through or to get through the job, job uh, environment, especially when they're looking for a job. And there's this demand from the perceived men who actually employ them that if you don't sleep with me or that sort, I'm mean, not going to get it. What in this direction you think women can do to be self independent in this direction? Well, I believe that there's not everyone who is cut out for their corporate job. Somebody, the nine to five doesn't work for the person. The person is more of less and not ten hour person and functions very well in the night. So you should look for a job that you find comfort in, that you are passionate about, that gives you time to be yourself. Somebody to functions very well during the daytime. And so when the person comes to work, you realize that from the morning the person is a bit slow. So just look for a job that works well for you. If you're a nocturnal person, you can start a bar, you can start an evening gig like selling pork and fried yam or running a business that does very well in the evening you can operate a cocktail joint in the evening and i'm sure you still make money i know somebody who is running her own cocktail joint she gets invited to programs and she says she makes more less than thousand cities every week so just do the math in a month you are making like four thousand cities let's be realistic which job will pay a degree holder four thousand ghana cities in this our present day ghana so some people are in the informal sector and they are making so much money and some are also in the formal sector and it's not working for them. Most people are in the corporate world and they are not happy with their jobs. They come to work and they are so depressed, they are so frustrated and they wish they could leave but they do not have any exit plan. And because of that, they are just there that they are not finding any work satisfaction. So I believe that you should have your own niche. Look for something you are passionate about. If you think that the 9 to 5 works well for you, you don't mind wearing corporate work to come into work every day, that's fine. If you think that you are really good with marketing, you can do something on your own, just go out there for it. You don't know. I mean, God has not put everybody in a box that you should just do the same thing. God is a God of creativity. That's why what he did for Abraham, he didn't do it for Isaac. So everybody has his or her own routine. Success, so don't compare yourself to anybody else. There's a cliche that what men can do, women can do better. Do you believe in that ideology? Yes, and no, because I believe in gender equity. I don't believe in gender equality. Gender equity in the sense that we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. What a man can do. There are some women who can do it and do it better, but there are some things a man can do no matter who you are. As a woman, you can't do it. An example, one is with nature. As a woman, you can't impregnate yourself no matter what you do. As a man, you need a woman to get pregnant. You can't carry a baby to full term. So these are some of the things which biologically has proved that, yes, we all need each other to complement each other. You can't say you are fighting for gender equality and there are disparities. We have to address the issue of gender equity. We put all of us in the same pay structure. We give the same respect to everybody. And that is what I advocate. Okay, I'd like to thank all women and appreciate them for whatever they are doing in their own little tunnel. Whether you sell pure water, whether you sell drinks in the corporate world. We appreciate everybody. And I want to tell everybody that 
no matter who you think is not looking that is not looking at you is not appreciating your effort there's someone out there who is looking up to you wishing to be like you and no matter what don't let society determine your pace at which you should go slow and steady wins the race my biggest challenge i would say is it's funding. I think that has been the major challenge with not with me even personally, but you know, in on in on a general scale, starting up funding is the biggest challenge. Yes. But what actually motivated you to enter into this particular industry? It has always been my passion. Being self-employed or being an entrepreneur has been has been a part and parcel of me. I always knew I would come out and start my own business sooner than later. What are some of the things that make the woman a woman? Physically, of course, and also our ability to nurture, our ability to... We are strong. I would say women are generally strong. We are strong beings. Maybe uh, we do not know how to harness our strength, but it's, it's something that's within us. We have a normal strength to do anything, to achieve anything that we put our minds to. So you're saying that women are the weaker version. How do you... I mean, what do you say to them? I find it very, very flattering, of course. Um, it depends on where you speak from. Um, women being a weaker vessel, I think it's, it's, an, it's an old saying from the old book. It depends on where you're speaking from. Generally, I don't think it's, it's a bad thing because if, um, God forbid, if I'm robbers come in here right now, the men would come and fight for me and shield me. So looking at it from that angle, it's not bad. Yes. Do you think it, is, it makes you weaker or stronger? Strength-wise, definitely weaker. I cannot compete with a man. Strength-wise, no way. But what are some of the issues that you can highlight? As in women, what women go through, and what can be done in society to actually address those issues? My take has always been, um, as I said before, women are very strong. We have whatever it takes from the days of old to bring things together, to achieve things, and we do not need to be somebody else to express who we are in our femininity, there is strength in our vulnerability, there is strength. So um, what I would advise women out there is to embrace who they are, embrace their femininity, and then challenge themselves because whatever you put yourself to, you can achieve it. Um, looking at the rate of unemployment in the society and what you do now, how would you encourage somebody, a lady who says that she is not employed and she is suffering and this and this and that? What advice would you give to such a person? I would say, hmm, one step at a time, one step at a time. Maybe your idea for a job is sitting in the office with an AC, but it's about time probably you start looking at other aspects, like maybe picking something to sell, acquiring a skill to better yourself, you know. There's always a way out, yes. So generally, what would you say that should be some of the challenges women face? Generally. Oh, the challenge women face generally partly discrimination partly not fully but partly is discrimination uh, yeah, for instance if uh, if you have a product or you have an idea and then you go pitch it probably I think it's, it's changing now but that has been um, the issue women had been facing for a long time Probably they think there are, there are they think there are some jobs that are for women and there are some jobs that are for men. So being a woman and trying to um, venture into the male-dominated um, area, um, they probably there, there is some form of discrimination. But I think now it's, it's changing a bit. It's, it's been a long way coming, and I'm hoping in the years to come it's going to be better. We're going to have more female pilots, mechanics, um, preachers, what have you. She's the constant wind that fills my cello, that woman.